Mind your decisions, I'm Presh Talwalker. Solve for the value of x in the following equation. The first term is x. The second term is x divided by 1 plus 2. The third term is x divided by 1 plus 2 plus 3. This pattern continues until the final term, which is x divided by 1 plus 2 plus so on all the way up to 4041. The entire sum is equal to 4041. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. To solve this problem, I will first review triangular numbers, then I will go over a partial fraction decomposition, and then we will solve the problem. Let's get started with triangular numbers. Suppose you want the sum of 1 plus 2 plus 3 and so on all the way up to n. This is exactly equal to the number of dots in this equilateral triangle arrangement. For this reason, each such number is known as a triangular number and is denoted as Tn. We can solve a formula for Tn in terms of n in the following clever way. We'll first arrange the dots in a right triangle. We will then add a copy of Tn to itself. We will then rotate this triangular grid as shown, which will be equivalent to taking the sum in descending order, going from n to 1. We can then combine the two sums together. Notice that each row has an interesting and constant sum. The first row is equal to 1 plus n, which is equal to n plus 1. The second row is also equal to n plus 1 because we pair 2 with n minus 1. Every single row will have a constant sum that's equal to n plus 1. This is visualized in the following rectangular grid. Every single row has a value of n plus 1 dots, and there are a total of n rows. Therefore, 2 times tn is equal to n multiplied by n plus 1. We can divide both sides of this equation by 2 to get the famous formula that tn is equal to n multiplied by n plus 1 all over 2. Let's now go over a partial fraction decomposition. Suppose we have the fraction 1 divided by n multiplied by n plus 1. We want to write this in the following expansion. So one fraction will be a over n, and the other fraction will be some other number b over n plus 1. To solve for the values of a and b, we'll multiply both sides by n multiplied by n plus 1. We'll then distribute this. In the first fraction, the n's cancel out, and in the second fraction, the n plus 1's cancel out. We now have this equation. We'll distribute the a term, and then we'll collect the n terms. We'll factor an n to get n multiplied by a plus b. On the left-hand side, we have 1, which is equal to 1 plus n times 0. We can now equate coefficients of the constant term to get that a is equal to 1. We then equate the coefficients on the n term, so we get a plus b is equal to 0. Since we know that a is equal to 1, we have 1 plus b is equal to 0, which means b is equal to negative 1. We've thus solved for the values of a and b. So the partial fraction decomposition will be equal to 1 over n plus negative 1 over n plus 1. And we can rewrite the second term as minus 1 over n plus 1. So now let's solve the problem. The first thing we'll do is we'll notice that each of the numerators has an x. So we'll factor out an x term from every single one of these fractions. Next, we'll see that this denominator is 1 plus 2, and we'll use the formula for triangular numbers. This will be equal to 2 multiplied by 3 over 2. We'll substitute that into the denominator. The third term will be t3, which is equal to 3 times 4 over 2. We substitute that in. The final term will be equal to t of 4041, and we'll substitute that in. We then have 1 over tn for each of these fractions, so we'll take the reciprocal. 
So this will bring the two to the numerator of each of these fractions. Now we'll just clean up this equation a little bit and we'll notice that the first term does not look like any of the other terms. So let's bring it into the same sort of form. So one is equal to two over two and two is equal to one times two. So now every single term in this sum has the same sort of form. From here, we can factor out a two from every single numerator. We will now look at the first fraction. We'll see we have one divided by one multiplied by two, and we'll use our partial fraction decomposition. This will be equal to one over one minus one over two. The second fraction, we can use the same formula. We get one over two minus one over three. We do the same thing for the third fraction. We get one over three minus one over four, and we continue through the very last fraction. Now, when we want to evaluate the sum, we notice an interesting pairing. Negative one half plus one half is equal to zero. Then we consider these pair of terms, negative one over three plus one over three is equal to zero. And every such term will pair like this. So we're gonna cancel out all of these terms in the middle. This is similar to a retracting telescope where only the very beginning and the very end survives. For this reason, this type of sum is known as a telescoping sum. So all of these middle terms will vanish. Now one over one is equal to 4042 over 4042. This will allow us to evaluate this subtraction a little bit easier. So this will be equal to 4041 over 4042. We now have a simple equation. We multiply both sides by the reciprocal of 4041 over 4042, and then we multiply both sides of the equation by one over two. So we simply need to simplify this. 4041 will cancel out, and then we have 4042 divided by two, which is equal to 2021. And that's the answer to the problem. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.